Hello, and welcome to my greenhouse. It is currently three days before Christmas, and uh, I've recently finished uh, construction uh, of my greenhouse and moved a lot of my trees inside. I have about one third still left outside, so I want to see um, the difference in growth and progression this year by having them inside uh, in the winter uh, compared to outside. Uh, just to see what will work best. Um, but after having moved a lot of my trees inside, I've noticed that they are starting to bud out. Uh, the buds are swelling and the trees are starting to get active again, so I'm gonna have to do my spring pruning uh, a little early. So, um, we're just going to take a few trees today, because um, most of them don't really need it, but I have some that do, like this, um, like this birch. These are just the common type of birch that uh, grow in my area, and uh, I've noticed there's quite a few dead branches, which is pretty common with birches. They do tend to have branches that just die off, um, but I mean that's not, not really a problem, they'll we'll always get new branches. So we're just going to go through this one and I have one other birch and a uh, ficus that I want to prune up today. So we'll do that. Okay, um, so I've had this tree since early spring. Um, this year. So I haven't had it for very long, but all of this growth is new since I've had it. I cut off all the old thick branches uh, and it sprouted new ones pretty fast, but when it comes to styling I haven't really worked much on that yet. I just want the tree to start growing healthy uh, and become very vigorous so I can see in here there's this branch is almost completely dead this one is dead um, I think this one is also dead and you have a vift in the back so <coughs> So we're just going to come right in here and uh, remove those. Um, I'm going to start just taking this one off right here. And I can see it's still green. Um, yeah, you can see it's still green, but um, it's completely dried out, wrinkly and brittle. So. I don't think we're gonna get. I don't think this whole stump is dead, so I'm gonna leave that for now um, because it does have quite an interesting root. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that feature or not, but for now I'm just gonna leave it. Um, and then we have this one right here, which looks to be dead also all the way down, but I'm gonna cut it up here first. Let's see. Yeah. Just all dried out. Probably this whole stump actually. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see this stump right here. I'm just gonna remove that completely. Yeah, it's all all dried out actually. I might need some different oh well we'll just nibble it away. get it quite flush. You can see a lot of the bark here is just dead so I don't know yet where the live veins go. I'm gonna have to see when I when I repot it where the roots are um, because probably a lot of this can be 
carved away to get more smooth looking trunk but it will always be kind of bumpy and gnarly which is not necessarily a bad thing um, I think also this branch here is dead yeah so we're gonna do the same thing to this one get rid of it and uh, hope something new will sprout but it looks like this whole top portion here is dead and I noticed that um, branches who that died this year they died as soon as um, fall started really as soon as the temperature started to go down they just kind of shriveled up so uh, I'm not too worried about it hopefully we'll get lots of new fresh branches this year I'm just gonna try maybe get rid of this whole bump because so if we could get this branch free up some area here I think this branch would look much better so um, I'm just gonna keep cutting away here I have a root here know if you can see um, that I think yeah it's probably dead so I'm just gonna cut it away because it's not doing anything for us this root here seems to be alive it's got a nice color so we're gonna leave that um, I haven't had much success on my other trees growing aerial roots so I'm gonna take what I can for now even though it's not really uh, typical for birch tree to have aerial roots but <coughs> this was when I found this tree um, it was covered up to hair with moss thick uh, moss and so all these roots were growing in the moss uh, which is why many of them are dead now that they are exposed um, but we're gonna leave what we can and see what what we can do with it later. Now this tree is not really active yet, so it can be kind of hard to see which parts are alive, but you can see clearly this dark red brown color that the bark is dyed. It's not gonna start growing again. if I should take a saw here this is quite thick or if I should just wait leave this for now I might just leave it for now as to not stress the tree any more than I have to also you can see I have some uh, tape here and that was just to, uh, uh, to bend this branch a little bit upwards and so I think I can remove that now yep so we're gonna get rid of that and I think I can just cut this because this is dead so I'm just gonna cut this right here there we go yeah. so we're gonna leave that for now and I'll clean that up um, once it's starting to grow again so it's uh, so it doesn't kill the branch I don't want to cut too close right now. Yeah. It's starting to look like a slingshot, but uh, we'll probably get some more in here. These are dead, hopefully, in spring, if it will recover well or not. So I think that's pretty much all of the dead branches removed. For styling, I'm not really gonna start focusing too much on that yet. 
I haven't really decided where the front will be. If this will be the front, we have this curly kind of crossing root here that I'm not sure about. Um, from the other side. I mean, this is kind of nice too. We have one aerial root here, the one that seems to be doing good, um, which is kind of nice. We can reposition that so it's flowing better. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to really focus on picking a, a front for the tree yet. When I can uh, repot it and look at the roots, it will be much easier to decide. So I'm just going to cut these a little shorter for now. A little twig here. So, uh, just going to cut to a butt that's facing in a good direction. Let's see, we'll put this here and here. This branch is kind of going outwards more than I would like. I might just remove that, leaving this branch. Hmm. Yeah, I think I will. I'll take that off. And then we have one more branch here in the back. And we'll cut that off. Here. Maybe, should we shorten this? I think it's good for now. So, what I'm going to do now is just clean up the soil a little bit. Because there's all kinds of dead leaves. I'll try to bring them in to get a better look at that. So I'm just going to come in here and uh, remove some of this leaf litter here. Um, most of my trees got really nice moss this summer. Uh, I've been growing bonsai now for three or four years and uh, I've been doing it seriously for about uh, one, maybe two years. And the first couple of years I didn't really have much uh, luck with my moss. But once it started to set in uh, properly in some of the trees, it just spread like crazy and all my trees got this really nice uh, moss cover. And uh, during the fall, there was a bunch of birds kicking off all my moss. And so, uh, yeah, the trees don't really look too good anymore. But now that they ha I have them inside, shouldn't be a problem so we're gonna clean off all the small twigs and, and leaves so the moss can grow again there's a little bit of a wire but uh, not a problem and the tree if I remember it's it's actually buried quite deep I think the the root base of it is uh, almost at the bottom of the pot actually um, so it's going to be interesting to see I can't really remember how it looked down there um, so uh, when spring comes uh, we're gonna repot this tree and take a look at the roots but yeah I think that's uh, all for this tree for now so I'm gonna get the next one so the next tree I want to work on this uh, this one it's not a, a, a birch I can't really I've had a lot of problems trying to remember the name of this uh, particular um, variety of tree and I certainly don't know what it's called in English but uh, it's got let me see if I can find one that's got some leaves on it, it might be easier to um, to tell what kind of tree it is. <coughs> so, let's see if I can uh, put this into focus. It's not going to be very easy to see, but it has these small little green leaves and they turn dark red or purple uh, in the winter time or in, in the autumn and it 
um, drops the leaves. It's not evergreen. But it's really, really a good species. It grows super easy. It's very low maintenance. It can handle droughts and uh, overwatering and all that very, very well. It's very easy to make cutting off um, this tree. When I first got this tree about uh, one and a half years ago, I wired it. And I'm really not happy with the with the wiring job. It was kind of um, aimless in a way. I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, I haven't had a lot of su success with wiring on any of my trees, which is why I don't really attempt to do it. But um, I think what I wanted was drooping branches and I wired these branches when they were short and they just grew like crazy and uh, yeah I'm not really too keen on it I would like them to grow upwards because they they kinda droop down and then they go back up and uh, yeah it's just it's hiding the the trunk line and uh, I would like this to be the front the tree comes towards you on this side you can see it's kind of running away um, we do have this branch here, which I've thought about making the new leader you would see from the front. Uh, I would probably move the front to maybe around here, so the, the trunk would come up zigzag and up here. Yeah, it's a tough decision. I would have to cut away all of this growth. Um, yeah, I'm not really too sure about that. We also have some little shoots right here. I'll try to... maybe you can come in a little closer. We have some little shoots right here. Also. But it's got a very nice trunk. I really like it. take away the little duck for now so we can work on it Okay, so um, I've been looking at it for a while now. Um, I think I like this side more as the front if we're gonna keep this as the new uh, apex. Um, if you look on this side, let's see, the tree comes up comes forward and then it goes back away because I, I would like to have it from this side but it goes away again and then you would have the apex but if you put it on this side the trunk comes towards you goes back and then it comes forward again which could be very nice and I do like the the look of the trunk from this side. I think there used to be some branches here that I cut off. So I think this has to go. And you can see here where let's see if I can get get it in close again. Try to get it in focus. Right here where I made the cut this big 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 wound here it's gonna take a long long time to heal over 
and it's probably going to create quite a big bulge. So I think just getting rid of that will look better in the, in the long run. So, there's nothing else to do but to do it. One last look. Alright. So, we're just going to come in here. I'm going to cut it short for now and we'll clean it up after. Maybe I'll get some different pliers or um, branch cutters. So we got my nice uh, squeaking cutters and we're just gonna come in here. Yep, right there. One, two, three, go. Oh, that's tough. I'm gonna try to do that. Bring the tree out. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to adjust the There we go. There it is. So we're going to come in here now, clean up the cut. Uh, I'm going to leave it still a little proud so this one doesn't die off. Sure, yeah, it's still good in the pot. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to leave it for that, like that for now. And I think we can just just the camera. There we go. I think this might be the new front. We're gonna take a look all around the tree. Yeah, I'm not too keen on that. This long straight section here. I think it looks much better from here. The lines are more smooth. And it puts the new apex more in the center of the tree and not way out to the side. So I'm happy about that. We're gonna put the duck back here. And uh, this is just a concrete pot I made. I've made quite a few for, uh, well, many of my trees. I hope to get all my trees in uh, these nice little pots. So, on to the next tree. Again, uh, I don't know the name of this species. I'm gonna show you a leaf just because um, I can never remember this 